How are you? Hello, Tom. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. You looking well? Yeah, all good. Just finished training for the day, so that always helps. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, what are you doing this afternoon? Anything good? Uh, no, I've got recovery, so I'll do a pool session this afternoon and then put the feet up, I think. Uh, good, good stuff. Are you ready to go then? Yeah, yeah. Friday should be a good one. I know all the boys are looking forward to it. Right. Okay. Um, first and foremost, um, let's talk about your uh, start to the season. How do you think you've gone? Um, yeah, I think I've, I think I've been okay. I'm slowly just probably uh, progressing each week, trying to trying to hit top form. I know it's still early in the year, and it's good now that uh, it's starting to get a bit warmer and the the fields are getting a bit drier, so it makes it a bit easier for me. <laughs> well, I don't know where when we're going to get the drier uh, weather. Yeah. It's been pretty awful, hasn't it? How have you adapted to playing in the horrendous conditions we've had at the start of the season? Um, I think yeah, it definitely took took a few games. Um, we don't seem to play many games in in, yeah, in those conditions. Um, and I think the only cold game that I've played is maybe once in Canberra on a Friday night. That was pretty cold, and then other than that, every game here has been been freezing. So. Um, all in all, I think, yeah, I'm, pro I'm probably used to it now. So, so yeah, it's all good. And in terms of the Super League, well, how have you found uh, adapting to the different style? Um, it's, it's probably due to conditions. The game's probably a bit different, but other than that, it's, it's yeah, it's very similar. Like there's not, not too much to, um, to uh, change. Um, there, there is a subtle change, which is, you know, sort of, it's very attritional in the NRL, isn't it? You know, um, have you been, have you been, I say in, in the NRL, it's very attritional, isn't it? It's very physical. Um, have you, have you been surprised by how physical it is in the Super League? Uh, well, I've definitely been hit just as hard this year than I have before. So yeah, I don't, I don't see too much difference there. Maybe the speed of the ruck sometimes gets, Gets a bit quick over here, um, which probably helps helps in attack. So, yeah, it's all in all. What would you say um, your main focus has been this year? Has it been on um, what you've been renowned for, which has been solid in defence? Um, I haven't really had too much of main focus. I'd, I'd like to attack a bit more. I've seen I uh, played most of the year, well, most of my years as a left centre and then coming over here on the right, probably took a... A little bit to get used to and i probably find it better to attack on the right because i have a right hand carry so hopefully yeah i can i can work on that a bit more and yeah get a bit more ball and be more more um dangerous with the ball well that just comes doesn't it and, and as the as the conditions um um firm up a little bit and uh, the more emphasis on on attack than defense because it has been a very defensive opening to the season because of conditions yeah, for sure. You can't be um spinning the ball too wide and offloading all that all all the time when when the ball's greasy and yeah, and the ground's wet. Uh, yeah, you're just gonna put your your team in too much pressure. So, yeah, you're right. What about um your own thoughts about your own teammates? How good do you think this team can be? Um, well, I, th I think we've we've shown the first first ten rounds that. We're a close, we're a close bunch. Everyone seems to get along really well, and when you're getting along off the field, um, you usually see results on it. And and I think yeah, that's transferring really well. Um, everyone's yeah, really really having a red hot crack. So as long as we're doing that every week, I'm I'm sure we're going to be in there to to win most games. And the other thing is as well the continuity in in defence as well um, uh, is everything. But also in attack, um, you know you've had to. Swap things around with um, with Corey Hall coming in, um, and it doesn't seem to have affected things. Uh, Sean Kenny Dowler's switch wings. Yeah, he's slotted in um, great. To be honest, he, he's come in and it feels like he's been here since day one of preseason. Really, like it hasn't changed a thing. Um, everything's going good. What about uh, Sean Kenny Dowler? How big an influence is he? Yeah, he's great. Um, it's good having having him outside me. Like just also just talk wise communication, still tipping me up here and there on 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 where I need to be in that. So yeah, it definitely helps. I think um it showed over the last couple of games. We I think we've been defending really good on that side. How important is it to have that experienced guy alongside of you? I mean, I know that you've played quite a lot of rugby league, but you never stop learning, do you? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, or even even just you can switch off for a second and and miss your job. It's it's good having someone there that'll yeah just just keep you on your on your game. Is he a talker? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we we try to um talk as much as we can on the field, and yeah, the pair of us probably uh never shut up to be honest. <laughs> Well, that's not a bad thing. Communication's everything, you know. Um, so what about the form of the team? You, you're on a long, unbeaten run. Um, does it almost feel as though you go out there and you don't expect to be beaten, you expect to win? Um, I don't think anyone's bought too much into the to the winning streak. Um, we more wanted to play well into the international break and then more focus on after having a week off make sure that we, we hit the ground running and, and it doesn't affect us. Were you a little bit concerned that you might have, you know, sort of lost a little bit in that week's break? Um, not at all, actually. I think everyone, everyone's everyone been really professional this season and we didn't have any doubts that um, anyone wouldn't come back in, in the right shape and, and be ready to go. It was more, I think, after the Castlewood game, we I don't think we played our best game. We probably needed the break. And, yeah, it showed. I think we... Huddersfield was one of our best games of the season, so yeah, it was a, a pretty, it was a pretty complete performance, wasn't it? In, in, in awful conditions, but to nil aside, is is you know I know you like to run in the points, but to nil aside proves that everything that you've done on the training ground and all the methods and and the way that you've defended has come to fruition. That must be very very satisfying. Yeah, for sure. It just shows that our, our defensive um, systems are working and that at some point you, someone's going to miss a tackle. You're going to get beaten. It, it, it's part of the game. It just shows that the bloke next to you is scrambling. You you got your mates back and, and you do everything you can to yeah keep the other team to nil. Well, one of the sides that you've lost to this season is Warrington and you go to them on Friday evening. What sort of game are you expecting? I think we we're pretty unlucky to uh, to get to get beaten by them earlier in the season. I thought we were in it for for all the way. I think maybe the last 10 minutes, they just got over the top of us. So I'm expecting a yeah pretty tight game and yeah, it's going to be pretty physical. Um, being away, I don't think should affect us too much. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What did you learn from uh, the first game against them? It was a long time ago. I think, what was that? Round three, I think. Around yeah. Four. I think we've had too much football since then. We'll have to go back and get through some video, but um, they got a, I know they got a, a really big physical forward pack. So as long as we, we can match that, um, I'm sure everything will go to plan. Yeah. Um, have you been to the Hollywell Jones Stadium yourself? Have you played there? You haven't, have you? I haven't. I've never been there, no. So that'll be a new one. Yeah. Very, very tight in goal areas, close to, close to the stands. Uh, so that, Kick to the line has got to be absolutely spot on. Um, have you kind of focused on on those sort of things, or do you take, pay any attention to that? Um, it's it's probably more of a question for the halfbacks, really. No, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't know until you you've told me that now. So I'm sure when we get there and we have a look, and yeah, the the halfbacks do all their kicking work, so I'm sure they know what's coming and. And the boys that have been playing here for a few years, they they probably know that it's yeah, it's a small in goal. So, well, you're third in the table at the moment, but you can go top, might be temporary temporarily uh, with a win at Warrington. How important is that at this stage in terms of the confidence that it would give you? I don't think so much of hitting the top will be uh, the big confidence boost. I think getting over Warrington and and having that good win away more so will probably cement yeah a bit of bit of confidence in the boys and just and just know that we we can uh, match it with the best um and how have you thought about um, the start to the season was it the expectation that you had when you were coming here i didn't know too, too much what to expect really so it's all it's all been pretty new um i think we're yeah we're pretty unlucky to lose three in a row there i think we could easily be sitting, oh, how many played 11, 10 from 11. I think, I think the Catalans game that we lost away was, was the only one we, we probably actually deserve to lose. Um, but that was against adversity with four HIAs, wasn't it? Exactly. Um, yeah. Well, it speaks for itself. I, I, I think it never felt like 
we were winning that game, but we still took them all the way for the 80 minutes. Um, and I think, yeah, the other two games we lost, we were, we were right in it and probably were the better teams on the night. So, yeah, it just goes to show that we, every single game we've played this year, we've been in, no one's really run over the top of us. And physically, how have you found it? Um, you've managed to stay injury-free, um, which is always good, isn't it? Yeah, touch wood. Okay, good stuff. Thank you very much, Tom. Lovely to talk to you. Cheers. Hi, Tom, you all right? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, good. I know when we spoke in Tenerife, which was even a long, a long, long time ago, wasn't it? we spoke about your family and settling in and getting used to this culture. How are you doing? Because obviously it's about six months in now. I know you're a close-knit group. Is that helping you along the way, having them lads to you know, have relax and go out with on a weekend as well? Because it's more that side as much as it is the rugby side, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. All the boys um, do a fair bit together. So, yeah, it definitely helps. And um, yeah, especially with the family, they we've got a few players and that with um, partners and, and kids that are close by. So they all hang out and yeah, it makes things a lot easier. And how have you found, obviously, playing in front of them Rovers fans, it'll be a little bit different for what you experienced in the NRL. Not as much attendance-wise, but atmosphere. It must be something that you're really enjoying playing in front of. Yeah, it's great. I actually love it. I'm, I look forward to every home game just to just to hear the stand go off. So, yeah, it's been really good. Perfect. Cheers, mate. Best of luck on Friday. Thank you.